silver fans, this is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment, and numismatics. Hey, you're going to get a real treat here if you're into coin collecting. I'm at the Gold Depot in Crown Point, Indiana, talking to my buddy Rich, the owner. All right, Rich. Hey, man. Thanks for having me back. Fun. Always. Always a pleasure, T. <laughs> Hey, uh, last time we talked, uh, you were uh, getting ready to go to the ANA Chicago uh, World's Fair of Money. Yeah. And, and, uh, and tell me about the experience. How was it? Uh, it was good. It was good. Uh, we bought quite a bit of stuff, and uh, we were able to sell a little bit, and uh, it was it was a good show. Oh no. Uh, you know, from my perspective, uh, I was absolutely overwhelmed. Like a big show that I've ever been to is maybe like 80 or 100 dealers. And yeah. I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of people there. It was incredible. Yeah, it's a big show. Yeah. Uh, is I was kind of kicking around the idea of maybe going to the fun show. I know you've been to the fun show multiple times. How do the two compare? Uh, the, uh, the winter show is, is probably just as big as the ANA, maybe a little bit smaller. But, okay. Wow. Uh, the winter show is definitely the better one of the uh of the two for yeah Florida. it's uh beginning of january and it, uh, i was kind of kicking around the idea of maybe it's a fun show to go to you know around here <laughs> chicago land area that time of the year we're all dying to see the sunshine yeah. and so maybe if i could swing it i'll, I'll make it down there but uh, you really intrigued me when you told me last time that you're heading down there because i asked you uh, and, and you said you were going to take some some toners. You have that monster collection of uh, toner Morgan dollars. Mm -hmm. You're going to take those, see what happens. And I was very intrigued at, and wondering what in the world is Rich going to bring back to Crown Point for the shop. <laughs> and I came in to uh, you know to make a little purchase here, and lo and behold, you've got some really cool stuff there. Uh, you want to tell the audience what you have? Uh, yeah. So I, I just picked up some like eight reals, some stuff that. Uh, it, these have all been chop marked, um, so like the chop marks, you know, this would all be uh, like international. So like to check its authenticity, its weight, um, you know, also maybe the a merchant uh, puts their mark on it to, to prove that it's theirs. Um, so this went from uh, you know Bolivia to Asia to the Orient uh, multiple times, I think. I mean, based on the number of chop marks here, my goodness. Yeah, and I mean, some of them are, I mean, like that one there, I mean, you can see that one's got a lot of color to it and whatnot like that. But oh my gosh, the tone on this is incredible. Look at that. It's got like greenish, purplish. Well, uh, Several several chop marks there. That's a beauty, an absolute beauty. Are you gonna send this one to get graded, Rich? No, no. These I won't send off to get graded. I mean, there's collectors for this stuff that mm -hmm. just, you know, they they like the eight reals and they like the chop mark stuff. Mm -hmm. But not only is I mean, not only were, you know, the eight reals chop marked, mm -hmm. even even though you know. It, it, it was basically the eight reals were, you know, the world's currency, mm -hmm. uh, probably for like 300 years. Yeah. And then, but like this one here, this is a 1894 Japan uh, YR27, um, which is a really cool coin. Mm -hmm. But even if you look on the reverse of that, look at those chop marks that are on the reverse. I can't say I've ever seen a coin like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't come across them too often. Mm -hmm. So then, the A Real was actually the start of the U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. So these sure. would be silver trade dollars, mm -hmm. and a lot of times you'll see silver trade dollars with chop marks. Okay, so then so they floated around the world just like the eight reals uh, did, and I'm sure they were all floating around simultaneously. <laughs> and then once we adopted or, or created the, uh, the trade dollar, uh, did we like end our use of the eight real, or did that go on for a while that you know of? 
the eight real was used uh, until until we made our own dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which uh, would have been like the uh, late seventeen hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the mint started in seventeen ninety two. But I'm not. When did the trade dollars start getting created? Uh, well, trade dollars were were basically like. 1870s were okay. the trade dollars. Before okay. that, you had the bus dollars and the flowing hair dollars. Okay. That date back to the to the late 1700s. Okay. Um, but that all originated from the eight real. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fascinating. And chop marks, uh, you know, to me they're interesting, and they make uh, the coin add character. Uh, and have they always been thought of that way by collectors or have collectors? Well, yeah, because there's there's books and, and collectors that can pinpoint those markings. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, really interesting. Yeah, it does. Because when you know, if you, could, if you could take that mark and you could trace it back, you know, 250 years ago, mm -hmm. And who who was that merchant? Yeah, you know that's that's kind of neat. I mean, you can pinpoint where it was in time, right? What location at what time, as opposed to mo most uh, you know the coins we look at, we just kind of wonder yeah. in awe yeah. about where they were and what they've seen. But that has. Uh, I mean, I'm already a, I'm already a fan of the eight reals. Uh -huh. You know, just from the from the shipwreck stuff and the, the history behind the the pillar dollar and whatnot like that. So I mean, just having the chop marks to me just you know makes it more character, and uh -huh. you know there ain't two coins that are going to be chopped, to, you know, chop marked the same either. So well, I knew you were going to come back with something interesting. <laughs> Had no idea what in the world it would be. And Never know with me. <laughs> Never know. You did not disappoint because uh, those are really cool and. Like what's uh, just out of curiosity? What's the low end on those? Like, what price range would they start in? Uh, like 150 bucks. Okay. And then you know they'll go up to you know you know the trade dollars are a little more desirable because it's U.S. Yeah. But they you know there's higher higher end collectible uh, a real. So I mean, depends on the date. Um, you know, and, and the character of the coin too. You know. So they're not real, like. But anywhere from like on the A reals, probably anywhere from like 150 to 250, and then on the uh, trade dollars, which I mean, the obverses of these, I mean that's like AU details on the obverse there, mm -hmm. and, and and the reverse. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have those those marks, it'd be a, it'd actually be a really really higher rank coin. But mm -hmm. so I mean, they'll they'll range anywhere from like say 200 to 300 on the, okay. on the trade dollars so those are cool enough that they're not your everyday coins that you pick up for 80 bucks but they're not so crazy unobtainable right. that the average collector couldn't save up and make right. himself a nice yep. collection of mm -hmm. trade dollars or eight reals with yep. chop marks yep all right well hey thanks for sharing appreciate it and this is kind of impromptu i just popped <laughs> in on you and I appreciate you uh, sharing your knowledge. No uh, problem. I just audience. got done, just finished inventorying these, so yeah. you know they'll be out in the in the cases and online shortly. Okay. And if somebody's interested, uh, can they call you, or are they going to be on eBay? Uh, they'll go on eBay. Um, okay. I mean, they can feel free to call. We can do you know something over the phone or or whatnot. But but okay. yeah, they're, they'll. They'll be listed for sale. I'll put your uh, link to your website on the uh, video description so people can find you. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks, buddy. Thanks. Hey, special shout out to my channel members who support me in my efforts to bring you these videos, and thank you for watching. Now, let me show you what I entered the Gold Depot for in the first place. Rich showed us some eight real, some of which originated in Mexico. And here are some other coins that originated in Mexico. The 2022 Mexican Silver Libertad. Hey, adding them to my stack collection, they are in Mexico's modern bullion coin. <laughs>